Hey everyone, I'm Josh. I'm Nat. And today's One Charge trip is to Wilson, North Carolina. Let's go. All right, well, we're at the Whirly Gig Park in Wilson. Whirly Gigs were made by folk artist Wallace Simpson. There's one at the North Carolina Museum of Art in Raleigh where we live, so um, we're a little bit familiar with his work. And I was in Williamsburg a few weeks ago and I saw even more of his work, but I'd already always heard that there was a park down here with just filled with his work and here we are. He grew up working with farm equipment and he really liked that machinery and you can tell that influence in his work. He preferred to call these windmills, it was actually outsiders who preferred to call them whirly gigs. And they've been abbreviating them as gigs. I've seen that several oh, really? times. Okay. There's gigs. <laughs> I haven't seen that. So you can see just wheels and different mechanic parts mm -hmm. and it's very colorful and the, it changes as the wind blows. So it's pretty interesting. I love still photography, but video is really the best way to capture his yeah. art when you come here. I think the other thing it reminds me of is North Carolina's history with flight. Of course, the Wright brothers did their flight testing out on the Outer Banks. And this is well inland, um, but it still is reminiscent of sort of those early days of flight. And I don't know if Simpson intended that, but it definitely uh, yeah. feels like that. Yeah. And it's a free park and it's, it's a great, would definitely recommend coming here if you come down to Wilson. Definitely. Here we are at the Oliver Nestis Freeman Roundhouse, which is really interesting. There's a lot of information about the history of Wilson. He is an African-American and he had, didn't have a lot of, he was born in 1882 and he didn't have a lot of economic opportunity in Wilson at the time. So he went to the Tuskegee Institute and got an education. He came back and that's when he started building houses. He didn't just build houses, he has sculptures and um, yeah. home decor and lo just lots of little projects that he liked to work on. He also owned a gas station, I guess, a service station yeah. that would be what it was in the past. Um, and he was a master mechanic. I think there was something in there about how he traveled to California oh, yeah. and someone said he was the best craftsman that they'd ever met or something like that. Yeah, it's his houses yeah. are still standing and in good condition. There's also a museum here in a more modern building. It tells a lot about the history of African Americans in Wilson. There's incredible stories about getting uh, integration going in the schools and what a struggle that was. It's, so, I think it said it didn't fully end here until 1970. Yeah, it was. Which is not that long ago. It's really not that long ago. It's, it really filled in some gaps in North Carolina history for me. Yeah, definitely. So it's, a, it's great, it's free, There's uh, it's wheelchair accessible. Um, we showed up late in the day and, and the, the person here gave us a tour of everything. Yeah, he, was was really, really nice. he was really nice and talked to us a lot about yeah. the history of the Freeman, uh, the Freeman family yeah. and showed us around, so yeah, he really did fun. not have to do that, so no. that was very nice. He also crafted dinosaurs. There's a dinosaur yeah, there over is there. Yeah, there's a dinosaur sculpture out in front, yeah. it's pretty cool. So, so this is... It's been really interesting and informative. Definitely. You should come. Yeah. I just hit a home run. No, you didn't. You didn't touch second, third, or home. I hit a good single. Yeah. Yeah? So we're at the North Carolina Baseball Museum. It is located at Fleming Stadium here in Wilson, North Carolina. Otherwise known as where Josh just hit a home run. Mm -hmm. That's me, Josh, who hit a home run. We learned a lot. There's, it's a small museum, but there's a lot of memorabilia and a lot of history in there. We learned a lot about North Carolina baseball, obviously, but a lot of pros come through North Carolina. Um, which Various we, teams. Which we knew being Durham Bulls fans, but I guess more so than I thought. Part of Bull Durham was filmed here, so that's pretty cool. Oh, I didn't hear, I didn't see that. That's interesting. Yeah. That's really cool. Um, was it filmed in this stadium? Yes. Wow. Some of it. This is Not cinematic. The whole thing. Cinematic history. Bull Durham was filmed across 
a few locations okay. in North Carolina. They there's just cases and cases full of baseballs and baseball cards, uh, uniforms from various periods throughout baseball history, um, bats. Yep. Um, newspaper articles. You would be surprised at how much is here. Yeah. <laughs> it's really too much to recall. Yeah, it was it was good. We'd previously been to the, uh, not Smithsonian, the uh, Louis Louisville Slugger Museum, mm -hmm. which was definitely more, you know, like general, but the stuff here was, I think there's more here than there there's is in Louisville. There's more here. I mean, the so. Slugger Museum is definitely dedicated to the bat, and there's right. a little bit about players. Yeah. This is all about players everything about baseball minor yeah. leagues all the way up to the majors ladies leagues african-american leagues yeah it's very nice very yeah cool. it's good it's a good museum we're back from wilson we are and we did it in 128 miles exactly which is one charge so successful one charge trip that's right successful one charge trip see you next time